Enslaved people resisted slavery from the very beginning in various forms. Resistance could be seen from the start of the slave trade in Africa to when they were settled in the Caribbean. Some forms of resistance in the Caribbean were retaining native language, religion, and rituals, running away, damaging tools and machinery, and pretending to be sick to not work. Slave revolts were one of the strongest forms of resistance. This form was instrumental in the abolition of slavery. Slave revolts could be systematically planned or spontaneously done. Slaves had various reasons to revolt, such as personal freedom, better working conditions as well as the freedom to work elsewhere. Rebellions were fiercely put down to show the consequences as well as to deter further plans. Let us now look at five major slave revolts that happened in the Caribbean. Tacky's War took place in 1760-1761 in Jamaica. This uprising was led by Tacky, who was of Ghanaian descent. Being inspired by the First Maroon War, the slaves wanted to take control of the island, and this led to many white planters and overseers being killed. The British militia with the help of the Maroons defeated this rebellion. Tacky was killed and over 400 slaves were executed. Nevertheless, there were still a few flare-ups that continued after Tacky's death. The Baptist War happened in 1831. Initially, this was a Christmas strike for wages and better working conditions. Sam Sharp was a key figure in this war. After the demands were ignored, it resulted in a large-scale rebellion. Slaves looted and burned plantations in the northwest section of the island. This rebellion was defeated by the British troops and it took a month to restore order. Sam Sharp and over 300 slaves were hanged or shot afterwards. This was one of the largest slave rebellions, which contributed to Britain's abolition of slavery in 1833. The Haitian Revolution was a series of conflicts that took place from 1791 to 1804. This unrest was due to conflicts between ethnic, racial, and political groups. There was a major slave revolt in 1791. France then abolished slavery in 1794, and Toussaint Louverture became governor general in 1801. Another figure, Napoleon Bonaparte reconquered the island in 1802 with the goal to restore slavery. This led Jean-Jacques de Saline and Henri Christophe to rise against the French. After a bloody campaign, the French were defeated. De Saline became the leader of a new country. Haiti was the first state that resulted from a slave rebellion. Fadon's rebellion took place in 1796 in Grenada. Julian Fadon was a wealthy mulatto man who owned the Belvedere estate. The rebellion was started by freed black people, who were inspired by the Haitian Revolution. One of the main reasons was the dissatisfaction with the treatment of black people by the British. Fadon wanted to replace the British government with the French, as well as to increase the civil rights of the free coloreds. This rebellion lasted for over a year and was defeated by the British troops. Fadon was never captured. The Busas Rebellion of 1816 was the largest in the history of Barbados. This rebellion was led by the African-born slave Busa, and was carefully planned and executed. The slaves were wary of the registration of a bill that they believed would have made their lives more difficult. A quarter of the island's sugar crop was burned by the enslaved. The rebellion was suppressed by the local militia and British troops, and over 100 slaves were executed. <laughs> <laughs>